for the first time in the Utah uh, Democratic Party's history, there would be no Senate candidate with DEM behind that candidate's name. An unusual fight is brewing in the Utah Democratic Party. Delegates to the state convention are being asked not to choose a candidate in the closely watched U.S. Senate race against incumbent Republican Mike Lee. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow explains what they are being asked to do instead. This Saturday, Utah Democratic Party delegates will be asked to not choose a candidate for U.S. Senate. The convention will provide an opportunity for people like me to choose to not nominate a candidate, and I will be encouraging people to go down that road. Salt Lake County Mayor Jenny Wilson is among a number of high-profile Democrats backing independent Senate candidate Evan McMullen. I'm playing to win, and I think Evan McMullen has a chance of beating Mike Lee, and that's uh, the reason for a rather unconventional move for a Democrat uh, to support an independent. She argues Democrats only get so far in red state Utah, and their common goal is to unseat incumbent Republican Senator Mike Lee. This whole plot seems to be that we don't trust voters. Kale Weston is seeking the Democratic nomination for Senate. I would argue that the better coalition uh, to beat Mike Lee starts with Democrats. We, we get about a third of the state, give or take. He insists Democrats do have a shot. People say, well, Mike Lee's got it made. I think these incredibly anti-democratic text messages that have just come out, where Mike Lee is literally asking uh, the, the White House what to say, has new voters focused on why we need to to get beyond Mike Lee. We're uniting a strong coalition of Democrats, Republicans, and independents who want to replace Senator Mike Lee, who believe that we can do better as a state. McMullen says he supports the idea of Democrats not choosing a candidate. We're divided between Democrats, independents, and principled Republicans. But if we're together, we're a majority, and we can make a change here. But if we're going to all continue divided, then Mike Lee, though most Utahns want to replace him, though he's very unpopular, will be reelected. Senator Lee's campaign has not responded to requests for comment. Meanwhile, Weston says that if he does secure the Democratic nomination, he'd like to form a new coalition with the goal of unseating the senator. Becky Edwards, Ali Isom, Evan McMullen, and yours truly, Kale Weston, find a room of just us four, and we talk about what we each need to do to make sure that Mike Lee is no longer representing our state. Whether the other candidates are willing to do that, who knows? McMullen says the coalition is already being built. So we're very proud of, of the cross-partisan coalition that we're building. Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.